Tributes have been paid to a 15-year-old boy who was stabbed to death outside... A 17-year-old died from a stab wound to the heart. A knife or blade was used in a crime every 16 minutes. Two teenagers have been seriously injured in a suspected stabbing in Nottingham. To whom it may concern, I want to talk to you about the knife that you're carrying in your belt or pocket or shoe. The one you got from your mum's kitchen or ordered online or robbed out of the camping shop. The knife you tell yourself you carry for protection because you never know who else has got one. I want to talk to you about what that knife will do for you. If you carry it, the chances are you will be called on to use it. It is a deadly weapon, so if you use it, the chances are you will kill with it. So after you've killed with it, after you've seen how little force it takes for sharpened steel to puncture flesh, after your mates have run away from the boy you've left bleeding, when you're looking for somewhere to dash the blade and lighter fluid to burn your clothes, when your blood is burning in your veins and your heart is beating out of your chest to where you want to puke or cry, but you can't because you're toughing it out for your boys, here's who to blame. Blame the boy you just left for dead. Blame him for not believing you when you told him you were a bigger man than him. Blame him for not backing down when you made your chest broad, bounced into him and told him about your knife and how you would use it. Blame him for calling you on and making you prove yourself. Tell yourself, if he'd just freed up his phone or not cut his eyes at you like he did, he wouldn't be choking on his own blood and crying for his mum. Damn them for letting you believe that respect is to be found with gun in hand or knife in pocket. Damn them and everyone who feeds the myth of these gangsters, villains, thieves and hustlers. Anyone who makes them heroes whilst damning, hard-working, educated, honest men as weak, sellouts or pussies. When I was where you are now, we weren't left to our own devices like you have been. Is it any wonder you end up expressing yourself in such a violently pathetic way? The boy you will kill, should you continue to carry that knife, almost certainly had the same collective failures testing him. He probably felt no less abandoned and no less scared. He also almost certainly was not carrying a knife. Whatever it seems like, whatever you've read, whatever you tell yourself about protection being your reason, statistics show the life that you take will be that of an unarmed person. That is what that knife will do for you. It will make you escalate the situation to where it is needed. It will give you a misguided sense of confidence. It will make you the aggressor. That knife will make you use it. It will bring you nothing worth having. There is no respect there. The street may give you some passing recognition, but any name you think you've got will soon be forgotten. Once you've bloodied that knife, you may as well be dead. You'll be buried for 10 to 20 years. Banged up for that long, only a fool would look back and think it was worth it. It would be nothing more than a sad, unwanted, unnecessary statistic. Be a better man than that. Let the story they tell of you be that you exceeded expectations, that you didn't drown. Don't spend your days looking to be a bad man. Try to be a good one. Our biggest failure is that our actions have left you not knowing how precious you are. We've left you unaware of your worth to us. You are precious to us. Give yourself the chance to grow enough to understand why. Be safe. Lenny Jones. <laughs>